Hi everyone, welcome to another video. So today I thought I would show you what I eat in a day when I'm taking a little road trip. So my parents and I are all going to an appointment somewhere and it's going to take about half to three quarters of the day. So I thought I'd show you what I'm taking to eat on the road as a raw vegan. It's really easy when we're out and about or traveling to get a bit lazy with our food or we're not as organized. We don't prioritize eating healthy food uh, throughout that day and organizing food to take before we go. And then we end up getting hungry and then making some not so great choices while we're out. So hopefully this video inspires you and shows you how easy it is to take a little bit of time before you leave to pack some healthy whole food plant based goodies so that you stay nourished hydrated and satisfied during the day. So first I have my lemon water. So it's just spring water with half of a lemon squeezed into it. And then I have my pure organic celery juice, which I just pressed about uh, 20 minutes ago. And this does not look very appealing, but it is delicious. It's fresh coconut water right out of the husk. And then I mixed in a teaspoon of organic wild vitamin C powder, which is just a combination of like acai and kamu kamu and those sorts of berries um, and it also has some parsley and coriander uh, powder mixed into it as well and all of this liquid is going to keep me very very hydrated to start off with and then I've got this container of persimmons and kiwi fruit mm, so so delicious I'm really excited to eat those and then I have a couple of red apples and then a bag of delicious red juicy ripe grapes. So that should keep me going throughout the day. I'll bring you along throughout my day and then I'll show you what I eat when I get home, maybe as a snack and then dinner. this banana cherry mango nice cream to have before dinner if you guys haven't tried this combination it is next level it is so decadent and rich and creamy and then on top I sprinkled some raw organic acai powder I don't know if this is just an Australian thing did you guys used to have dry Milo when you were younger I think there's an American version as well and I think you used to like stir it into hot milk to make like a hot drink or something at night but I just used to eat it straight out of the tub or like sprinkle it on ice cream and so this kind of reminds me of that experience and it just gives it a really nice texture on top too mm. oh my goodness and like with any recipe it's so important to use like properly ripe ingredients so I got fresh and local bananas and mangoes and made sure that they were fully fully ripe for freezing them and then the organic frozen sweet sweet cherries are from my local organic health food store so hopefully you can find them at yours as well and I don't know the exact ratio it's about two to three bananas maybe one to one and a half cups of mango maybe two cups uh, and then two handfuls of the frozen sweet cherries 
So I'm gonna go and enjoy this and I will see you for dinner. So you saw what I put in there and usually I would make a red capsicum tomato chili type sauce to put in there but it's market day tomorrow and my fridge is literally <laughs> quite empty and I just didn't have the ingredients I needed so unfortunately I couldn't show you that but I'll show you that in a future video. So yeah I think I'm just going to stuff a bit of extra avocado in than I normally would just to give it that extra creaminess and so it's not as dry but yeah it's still super delicious and I like eating them like burritos. And the reason I don't have, uh, I usually have about four, sometimes five if I'm feeling really piggish. But the reason I don't have them all made up straight away is because I prefer having nori tastes straight out of the fridge, like right after you make it. I feel like if you leave it around for a bit long, it's sort of, I don't know, it gets a bit soggy and it's just not as crisp and fresh. So I make one and then eat one and then go back and make another one and eat one. And yes, so this is going to be my dinner. That's the end of the video. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed seeing what I ate in a day. Uh, and I hope it inspired you to eat some more healthy whole plant foods. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.